Definitely not a good day, though, to head into the water. We still have that high rip current risk and swells are up to possibly seven feet heading into today and into tomorrow. Now, that low pressure system that really made way for all of that rain and cloudy weather is pushing away from our area. And so that's really helping in terms of bringing in that dry air over our area and really alleviating, alleviating these rainy conditions. I know it's been a very rainy week overall across the state. But as this system pushes further away, that also means less cloud coverage and more sunshine. And you're seeing that, especially here on satellite, where you're seeing the clouds still hanging on in southeast Georgia, but you're going to start to get in on mostly sunny skies, and that'll continue throughout the day today. Right now, though, temperatures are pretty comfortable in the mid-60s, some areas in the 70s this morning. Now, walking you through the rest of your day today, like I said, the sun is already peeking out in St. Augustine Beach, and that'll continue throughout the day today. A very slight chance of rain. I think we may have one pop-up shower in the area locally as we head into the afternoon, but that dry air is starting to filter in over our area, and that's really going to limit any sort of rain chances heading into the rest of your day today and even into tomorrow. As those clouds clear, that means the temperatures are going to be dropping even cooler heading into tomorrow morning. Some of us are going to be waking up in the mid to upper 50s region-wide as that dry air continues to filter into our region. Now tomorrow, slightly warmer than today. Mid to upper 70s continue. 79 possibly in Jacksonville tomorrow afternoon. 77 in Mayport, 75 in Brunswick, 77 in Waycross, and 78 in Lake City. I know a lot of you are excited about about the game tomorrow and here's the forecast so 77 degrees so it's going to be quite warm as we get that 1 p.m kickoff time overall mostly sunny skies and it'll be nice by the fourth quarter as the game is uh coming to an end 75 degrees with a little bit of a breeze so overall a perfect day for game day here locally now over the next seven days enjoy the dry weather I should say four days uh, we're going to get rain chances going up especially tuesday and into wednesday this may pose uh, some issues especially for those of you who are traveling by plane or maybe you're driving into areas uh, just south of us uh, something to keep in mind you may see some low visibilities or some flight delays as this is going to be a busy travel uh, week for a lot of you now heading into the next seven days you're going to see our rain chances are increasing with 40 percent chances of rain on wednesday and then thursday in the upper 60s so overall we're going to be cooling down as that cold front pushes through our area.